guys, today I'm just going to look at chordal picking. I'm going to start with John McLaughlin, Meeting of the Spirits. After that, what I will do is look at the various picking patterns and the essential ones that you need to put together to create alternate time signatures, or that you will need if you look at alternate time signatures or complex picking patterns from John McLaughlin or Alda Miola, or somebody like that. Now when John plays it, he uses the thumb for the bass notes, so it's like... And then the thumb comes over for the G, and this finger comes into play. Now you could do it by using a chord and using this finger for the bass notes and then changing the chord and again using the finger for the bass notes. But whichever way you do it, the picking pattern remains the same. So we have down, down. change chord Okay, now I'm going to look at some other chordal picking patterns. So the first pattern is down down pattern can also be used for things like augmented or diminished or as a chordal picking pattern to a chord let's say that sort of thing or going into chordal picking Also use this pattern for string skipping. Next we will look at three four. One and two and three and one and two and three and down 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 up 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 down 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 up. is 4-4. Four, four. We could also extend this 4-4 four, four pattern into 5-4 by repeating the last two picking strokes, which is down up.
To create alternate time signatures, we could now add the 4 to the 3. So for instance, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3. Now you might count this as 11, 8, so you could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You could keep extending this so you would have 14 over 8 by adding another group of 3. So... The next two patterns are from Aldi Miola. They might be a little bit more tricky because they rely upon a lot of up strokes, like three up strokes, which on the guitar is quite difficult. Down, up, down, up, up, up. Down, up, down, up, up, up. Now again, this last up stroke brings in and prepares ready for the next downstroke to repeat the pattern. Down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, up, up. Up, 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 down, down, up, down, down, up, down, for the next up, up, up. So that down stroke is deliberate in order to bring in the next up stroke. So we have This is just the patterns and the way that I do it. But you might find different ways of doing it. I mean you could use finger style or you could use the plectrum and the fingers or you could use alternate picking all of the time. But the one thing that will always be the same is that if it starts on a downstroke, you need to finish the previous pattern on an upstroke. If it's gonna start on an upstroke, you need to finish the previous pattern on a downstroke. Anyway, if this video is of any use to you, then please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, click the notification button, write a comment in the comment section, and I'll see you all in the next video. And thank you very much for watching.